we will now discuss absolute and conditional convergence. We will begin with what's called the absolute convergence theorem. It says that if the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of the absolute value of the terms a sub k converges, then the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of a sub k, regardless of whether those terms are positive or negative, also converges. Now this is a theorem where the converse is not going to be true. It, we're not going to be able to say that when the sum of a sub k converges, then the sum of the absolute value of the terms converges. As we have seen, sometimes knowing that a series alternates between positive and negative terms helps that series converge. So let's look at a proof of the absolute convergence theorem. What we're going to do is we're going to define a new sequence of terms b sub k and b sub k is going to be a sub k if the terms are positive and it's going to equal zero if the terms are negative. And then we're going to define another sequence, we'll call it c sub k, and that sequence is going to be equal to minus the terms of a sub k when a sub k is negative, and again it's going to equal zero when a sub k is positive. Then b sub k and c sub k are both going to be sequences with non-negative terms. All the terms in, for b sub k are going to be positive because a sub k is positive or they're going to be zero. And all the terms of c sub k are going to be positive because a sub k in that case is negative and negative a sub k is positive. Or those terms could be zero. Specifically, we can say that b sub k is less than or equal to the absolute value of a sub k and c sub k is less than or equal to the absolute value of a sub k for all k. So, because b sub k is less than the absolute value of a sub k, and c sub k is less than or equal to the absolute value of a sub k, we can say that the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of b sub k and the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of c, c sub k both converge by the comparison test. Now to apply the comparison test we needed all the terms to be positive and in this case the sums of b sub k and c sub k are uh, all positive. Okay, So if we have two convergent sums then it follows that the sum of a sub k which is the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of b sub k minus c sub k, that that sum also converges. So you'll need to take a look and inspect those terms for b sub k and c sub k, but you can see uh, when inspecting those terms that they do, in fact, give you uh, this, the term a sub k when you take the b sub k terms and then subtract the c sub k terms. And so this shows uh, that if the sum of the absolute values of the terms converge, then the sum without the absolute values also converges. So now we're going to have a definition. We're going to say if the series of uh, which is the sum of the absolute values of the terms converges, then we say that the series without the absolute values 
converges absolutely. It's a stronger statement here because it's saying that uh, the sum of the a sub k's would converge regardless of whether all the terms are uh, positive or not. Okay, so we've seen that uh, when terms alternate for a series that it's a little bit easier to show that a series converges, but if a series converges absolutely, then that series is not relying on the alternating terms in order to converge. Now, if the series uh, that's the sum of the absolute values of the terms does not converge, but the series without the absolute values, the sum of the a sub k's still converges, then we say that the series converges conditionally. So the condition is that uh, we cannot take the absolute values of the, the terms. We have to have uh, that the terms possibly alternate, or at least they're, some of them are positive and some of them are negative in order for that series to converge. So let's apply these definitions for a few new examples, okay? So do the following series converge conditionally, converge absolutely, or maybe even diverge, okay? So this first uh, series, uh, we're gonna note that uh, this is a the limit uh, as k goes to infinity of the terms one over square root of k equals zero. And because the fact that this, this um, series alternates, we can say that the series converges. So that plus the alternating terms says that the series converges. Okay, but, uh, but we want to notice that the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over square root of k, right, that does not converge. And that does not converge um, because we have a p-series with p equal to 1 half, which is less than 1. And so what we say is uh, that the series converges conditionally because it does converge, but the absolute value of the terms, uh, when we take the absolute value of the terms, it does not actually converge. So the series converges conditionally. Okay, let's look at one more example. That example uh, is sine of k divided by k squared. And some of those terms are gonna be positive and some of them are going to be negative. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the, sine, the absolute value of the sine of k over k squared. So, so note that if we take the absolute value of the terms, so we take the absolute value of sine of k over k squared, well, the absolute value of sine of k is less than or equal to one. And so these terms are less than or equal to one over k squared. But we also know that the sum from k equals one to infinity of one over k squared converges. Again, this is a p-series with p equal to 2, which of course is bigger than 1. Okay, so therefore we can say that uh, the sum of the absolute values of the terms converges, and so therefore the sum itself converges. So therefore the series converges absolutely. So when the series converges absolutely, again, the absolute values of the terms, that series converges, and then the series without the absolute values um, also converges by that theorem. 
Okay, so now that we understand absolute convergence, and when we look at this example, we can actually revise our comparison test. Uh, previously, uh, our comparison test required that all of the terms be positive, uh, so that we were comparing series with positive terms. But now what we can do is we can take the absolute value of the terms, so we can look at the absolute values of our a sub k's, and if that is less than or equal to a series that we know converges with positive terms, then, uh, then we can apply uh, the comparison test. So now the comparison test uh, can be used to show that series converge absolutely.